Hey, happy uh, New Year's Eve day, everyone. Uh, just getting ready here. A little trip. Sue and I are going to head to the cabin for New Year's Eve. I'm uh, going to leave the camera at home. We're just going to have a nice, uh, peaceful, relaxing New Year's Eve. Come home sometime tomorrow. Probably watch the Badgers, Rose Bowl. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys a short little video um, about a day trip I did uh, recently to the Peat, day after Christmas. Um, you'll see the results. So so. Um, wanted to show you what I've been catching my fish on. Uh, been having a lot of action on this little fluttery spoon here. Tipping it with a middle head. Otherwise I've been catching them on a uh, good old jig and a minnow and a uh, dead stick with a live uh, fat head on it. Um, also, some, I've had some questions about how I'm marking brush piles in the open water and then finding them in ice fishing. I use this uh, Garmin e -Trex. I've had this for a long time, well over 10 years. I think now the price has even come down under 100 on these. They work perfect for marking spots. They don't have GPS maps or anything like that, but uh, they will mark a spot. And I've I've walked right up to brush and snagged right away on them. They're very, very accurate. Now another thing I'm really excited about, and I'm thinking that this is gonna my game is gonna pick up here. I pulled the trigger last night, and when I get back from the cabin, I'm gonna be putting together this new clam. It's a flip over. Um, it's the Yukon XL. Or, no, I'm sorry, the Nanook XL. It is a flip over, two person. I know it doesn't look like much now, but uh, hopefully putting it together won't be too bad. Um, got some snowfall last night. I think the cabin's probably got about six inches. So, uh, looking forward to that. The peat does need to re ice before we can get back out there, so I'm hoping in about a week or so I'll be able to hit the peat with my new shanty. Um, just checking some stuff out here. Now these guys here, they know how to catch walleyes. Want to look for a good channel? You've heard me talk about them. These boys in Winnipeg can catch the walleyes, the wild north of Nelly. So, uh, it is a goal of mine to someday fish in this bus. That would be a trip and a half. So, if you're looking for something to do here on the cold winter months, sure, check out the Mark Pro channel. But check Blair out, too. He's got some great videos, and they catch some big greenbacks. So, uh, again, on behalf of the Mark Pro channel, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Have a safe New Year's Eve, and uh, we will see you soon. Everybody. It is the day after Christmas, Thursday the 26th. I hope all of you had a great Christmas. I know uh, I did. Sue and I both had a really nice Christmas this year. Um, nice to see f the friends and family. I am uh, en route to Lake Petenwell. I'm going to be ice fishing here one more time this week and probably the last time for a while as it's going to be uh, in the uh, low to mid 40s today and it's been pushing 40 if not a little bit more for probably seven days in a row so the peat's not going to be in there very much longer maybe by Saturday or Sunday it'll be unsafe um, been watching some videos from Manitoba my friend from the wild north of Netley, some Jay Siemens, and they're driving trucks out there on Lake Winnipeg and beyond, so it's quite a difference from uh, that area to here. We might have five inches today if we're lucky, and it's deteriorating with this warm weather, so probably the last uh, ice fishing for a while. I may even go golfing tomorrow on Friday, so believe it or not. Um, the Bob and Tom Show will be right back, right here. On I am almost to my parking spot. Hopefully we can get something going, get a little bit bigger walleyes today. I 
usually have no problem catching the little cigar walleyes. Wouldn't mind getting a couple keepers or even the slot fish or uh, in Manitoba, I'm master. So uh, I'm almost at my parking spot. And we will see you on the ice soon. I don't know if this is for you. Figures we'd get one when you're not here. On the board. We're not going to keep cats today. There he goes. Definitely windier than projected. They projected an 8 to 10. It's got to be gusting closer to 15, 20. So far I got that one catfish, it happened so fast, I couldn't get it on film. I am drinking this wall. Hopefully we get some action here in a little bit. Yeah, I got something little coming up. Oh, right at the hole. <laughs> little cigar walleye. They're down there. Okay, I got one I put a VMC spoon on. Got one coming up. Let's try to get him in this time. There's a little. Little cigar, hit the spoon. It's the first fish I've caught on a spoon. Just I know they work now. But geez, I gotta get me some bigger walleyes, I tell ya. At least I know the spoon works. The guy's going back. Okay, I was thinking about switching the spoon up. I think I'll keep them on. Okay, guys. Uh, it is another slow day on Pete and Well. I actually uh, caught a couple fish on um, a blade bait. I've never done that before. So I have some high hopes for the afternoon. I'm going to be uh, lighting my stove here real soon. And... Uh, cooking up a burger so uh, having a little time out I still have lines in the water but a little time out here want to give a shout out to uh, Blair and T law from the wild north of Netley Blair sent me this excellent freezer jacket he calls it um, it's from the company he works at uh, and it is an awesome it's an awesome uh, coat. I, I like it for inside the shanty. I, I take the heavy, I've got a floating coat off that's kind of heavy, so I like to take that off. And this coat is perfect for inside the shanty. It's perfect for warmer weather too. But uh, today's forecast, they kind of blew it. They were calling for around 40, uh, partly sunny, but it is, it's been cloudy and windier and heck. And it's chilly out here. I didn't bring any heat. Didn't bring a lantern, didn't bring a Mr. Buddy or anything, but I'll be, a, I'm fine. I'm having a good time. Got the hams going. Going to have some lunch. I want to also give a shout out to Tilo. Tilo donated this very cool Master Angler pin. Oh, i got to get some focus here. There it is. This is a Manitoba Master Angler medallion. I've got it on my Pete and Wall Posse hat. And I guess they don't hand these out anymore. Um, so I really appreciate those guys donating this to me, sending it my way in uh, in memory of uh, the master cat or cats that I caught when I was on the Manitoba trip in, in July. So uh, thanks again, Tilo. I really appreciate it very much. Um, appreciate everything, guys. Love the coat. Love the pen. So... Uh, I'm going to light this uh, 
little stove, get some lunch going, then I'm going to jig till dark. So hopefully I'll get some more fish to put on video here. Alright, got a venison burger frying in the old cast iron griddle. Fishing slow, but I'm going to have a nice little lunch here. Love cooking in the shanty, plus it's heating her right up. And there you have it. Man, it smells like a bar and grill in here. I love it. Chow this burger down there. I'm going to start jigging aggressively again. Venison burger. And from the land of sky blue waters. The usual. Better than nothing, I suppose. My bobber's going in this pool. It's supposed to be a bobber in that hole. Something took it. My hopper was hung up under the ice. Try again for a little bit. Okay, guys, it's uh, it's approaching four o'clock, and I'm gonna pretty much tear all my stuff down except for one bobber rig. I'm going to sit and watch that for as long as I can stand it. It's kind of windy and nasty out here today. So uh, it's been a good day. Still, I'm on vacation. It's very peaceful out here. Had a nice lunch in the shanty. Uh, I kind of wish I would have brought the buddy heater. It would have been very cozy and toasty in here with old buddy heater. So I'm going to tear this thing down and uh, we'll go watch that bobber till it gets dark. Okay, that's going to wrap up this trip to the peat. A very nice time. Um, I am going to head to the Peat and Well pub and grab one of their delicious pizzas for the drive home. Now I'd give you a shot of that, but it's going to be dark. Uh, well, maybe I can get a shot with the dome light. Anyway, I uh, met a friend Pete out there today. Nice guy. He's actually from Cottage Grove, which is very close to my home. We actually share the same school district with him, this community. That catfish that you saw, first fish I caught. A little story behind that one. I had uh, set that up on a slip bobber rig, bale open. I look over, bobber's gone, the pole's bobbing a little bit, but I figured I was okay because the bale was open, right? So I wanted to get it on film, go back to get the camera, turn around, and my pole is gone. I look over at Pete, he's setting up tip ups. I felt like such a fool, I didn't even I didn't say anything. I was going to just let it go. About five minutes later, he's pulling up a, I think he was jigging, he 
caught my line actually. He goes, I, I got something over here. I don't know what, there's a fish on the end of this line. I'm like, no way. Sure as shit, he uh, pulled up uh, my pole and that catfish was still on the end of it. So that was kind of cool. So uh, thanks to Pete for doing that. Uh, we're on Highway Z here. Take a right and I'm going to head to the pub. So uh, I think I will give you a shot of that pizza before I sign off. Hey guys, here we are. I think we can get a peek at it. Pete and Well Pub. That is sausage, pepperoni, onion, and jalapeno. I'm going to put this right in the center console here on my way home. And I'm going to munch on it. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. One of these days I'm going to put together a fishing video where there's some, I don't know, some real good catches on it, I hope. Otherwise I've been having fun. Been getting some good comments from, from your viewers and I appreciate that. Uh, New Year's is just a few days down the road, so uh, I'd like to wish everyone a happy New Year. I hope 2020 treats you well. I'm looking forward to it myself, so uh, happy New Year to everybody, and we will see you next time.